Hi, my name is Lenny, and I will be giving the workability and damages argument. The affirmative claims that Terry makes it difficult to remove that, uh, the bad teachers that aren't doing their job. They claim that because uh, tenure uh, is given to these bad teachers, we should eliminate tenure to fire them. However, tenure is earned, not uh, just given to these uh, teachers. Maurice R. Baruch, PhD professor at Old Dominion University, claims that one of the chief reasons for the teachers' union in the first place was to protect teachers from the outside pressure to tenure. Tenure is not easily given, it is earned. So since tenure is earned, who, who are the ones that are giving these tenures to these teachers? The ones that give tenure are the administrators or the principals that these teachers work in for, for, for their school. In Matt Coleman's uh, article in Why Teachers Need Tenure, he, sh he claims that uh, tenure uh, gives these teachers to sense that their job is secure and that, it's not, that it cannot be terminated by the whim of an administrator, complaining parent, or other adult, or disgruntled student. Tenure encourages teaching careers. Rather than eliminating tenure from teachers completely, we should be uh, focusing on the administrators, on how to polish up their evalu evaluation, on how to give tenure to the right teachers that truly deserve them. So for the disadvantages of abolishing tenure, Teachers, all teachers and professors are vulnerable to being fired for other reasons that are not related to their work. Stuart E. Breck, a retired physics chemistry teacher in Chicago Public Schools, wrote a blog and uh, a testimony that uh, he, he could have gone fired without tenure. In one instance, my fellow science department mem members went in mass to the principal trying to get me fired for having written a published letter in the science teacher about the violence and outright danger to some of the students in our school in one chemistry class. In another case, I gave an honest student, chemistry student, a D because he did not make up his missing laboratory work. The parents of this student attempted to get me fired four times because of this event. Also, I generated a discussion on the origin of life, mentioning evolution as one possibility to simulate the honor student perspective at the end of the day, end of the class one day. The brother of one of the class students in class, a minister, tried to get me fired a number of times, as well as for simply talking about the origin of life. If were I, ten were I not, not tenor, I could simply have been released in order to lessen parental pressure on the principal. This is just one teacher that could have been fired for multiple reasons that do not pertain to his work. Another reason, or another reason of uh, disadvantage is that uh, who, if there was no tenure, who would truly want to be a teacher? Without tenure, teaching uh, would be a job rather than a profession. It would be similar to like working at McDonald's. <coughs> Stuart, back to Stuart uh, e. E. Beckett's uh, article. He uh, meets with another teacher on what would happen if there was no uh, tenure. The teacher replied, uh, who would take a job, uh, teaching job without tenure? Also, in Matt Coleman's article, uh, Why Teachers Need Tenure, was that a teaching becomes a job that only rewards teachers who teach the most able students instead of a profession where teachers help all students learn. So people who want to be teachers will probably have different jobs that, uh, since they cannot receive job protection, in their teaching professions. This, this in turn will decrease the amount of teachers and uh, increase the number of classrooms and students. <coughs> Lastly, uh, if the main reason to abolish tenure is to fire horrible teachers, the risk of firing good teachers will also be really high as well. Jesse Rothstein, PhD, MPP, Associate Professor of the Public Policy in University of UC Berkeley, or UC, UC Berkeley, 
He says that the freedom to fire experienced teachers is about the only one that the miss rates are very high. And yet some rates come with a cost. The risk of firing good teachers is high and the impact on a school, school's culture is detrimental to learning. So is it really worth it to have all these disadvantages and consequences just to uh, fire the bad teachers? It's very risky to uh, abolish teach tenure, teacher uh, tenure as uh, the disadvantages are a lot higher than the advantages of uh, abolishing tenure. Thank you.